So in this dream, um, I was in this room with these college kids. And when I came into the room, they had this movie hanging on, the, they had a TV hanging on the wall and some movie playing that it was like my favorite movie or something. And they were like, we saved it for you. We, uh, we paused it for you. So they played it when I got in the room. And then we're sitting there watching the movie for a little bit. And then I had on, I, I had just bought in these new Adidas, these like orange Adidas shoes. And the guy who was there, he had the same orange Adidas shoes on. So I, I sat next to him and put my foot up next to his foot. And I was like, yo, we got the same shoes. They look like Jordan 11s. And I kept saying that. They look like Jordan 11s. Yo, our shoes look like Jordan 11s. And he's talking about, yeah, but they're Adidas. And the three stripes represent the three warnings for the flood. And then right as he said that, I looked back at his shoes and they were different. They had like, they were like stitched on there, some clouds and some raindrops were stitched on there. And I was just like, mm, that's pretty cool. And I was trying to tie my shoelaces, but my shoelaces were too small for the shoes. And they were like a neon green shoelace. And uh, so what I had to do was I had to skip some holes in the shoe so that I was able to tie it. And um, then I'm at this, I'm in some huge bed and this girl is laying down next to me and she has these huge tits. And this part I would consider warning your children about. Uh, and I start feeling up on her boobs. And she's like, oh, oh my God, what are you doing? No, stop. So I stop and then she pulls her tits out. She takes her bra off. She's like, do you want to touch them? I was like, yeah. So I start feeling up on her boobs and all of a sudden my pants are off out of nowhere and my, and my dick is hard. And she's grabbing my dick and she's stroking me. And she's saying, do you want to put it in my pussy? And I was like, nah, I don't really want to get you pregnant. Like, I'm not even going to risk it. Like, just no, no, not right now. And uh, then her friend comes out of nowhere and she's on the bed. She's walking around on the bed. And I was like more into her friend. And... And... Uh, Uh, I'm start videotaping her friend, right? And once I start videotaping her, the video's getting all messed up. It's going this way, it's going that way, and it's going this way, and it's skipping. But I'm videotaping her, and it's like turning her on, and she's showing me some more skin, and she's giving me some more action, and whatever. So... After that, I'm in this other room and that girl's boyfriend walks in and he's pissed off and she's trying to hide from him and she's hiding behind a counter and he walks in and he's looking for her. He goes around the counter and she's real good about hiding. She goes behind the chair and he can't see her and they, she just kept moving around and, and he couldn't find her. And I'm like, yo, why, why are you so mad at her? And he's like, Cam, if you only knew. And I was like, oh, she's, she's trying to crucify me or something. And uh, he eventually left. And then I'm telling her, all right, I'm leaving. And she's like, wait, wait, I'm coming with you. Let me, let me, let me pack my things. I'm coming with you. So I wait for a little bit and she's just standing there doing nothing. And I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm leaving. And she's like, wait, wait, let me just get my things. 
and she's just standing there wasting my time. And I'm like, all right, you know, I'm not waiting for you. I'm leaving right now. And I turn to leave, and then she's like, and then she comes with me. And then um, I'm at this other house, and 